The next stitch I'm going to show you is called a flat slip stitch. You need to have your right sides facing up and again you can check that you've got this by finding your V stitches and making sure they're facing up. So that's the wrong side and that where you can see the V stitches around the edge is the right side. To do this stitch I'm going to use a crochet hook and I'm using a slightly smaller crochet hook than the one that I used to create these squares simply because it's quite tight the method that you use to create this stitch so I use a slightly smaller one than the hook that I use to create these squares. So first of all to begin you need to make your slip stitch which if you don't know how to do you can watch my first video on basic crocheting techniques so put your slip stitch onto your hook <clears throat> you then need to find your corner stitch so one two three we're going to go into this stitch and into this stitch when we work along these edges you've got two loops You've got the front loop and you've got the back loop. So this is called the front loop and this is called the back loop. And we're going to be working in between the back loops of both squares. So when you've got your slip stitch on your hook, we're going to place the hook into this stitch so we're going down into this stitch and we're going down into this stitch you need to keep your working yarn above the work so we're going to go into this stitch and we're going to Grab the yarn, pull through the first stitch, pull through the second stitch and pull through the third stitch on the hook. So find your next stitch, put your hook through the back stitch, put your hook through the back stitch grab the yarn and pull through. I'm going to turn my work slightly sideways. So hook through this stitch, hook through the back loop, grab the yarn, pull through one and you might need to twist your hook to get it through this can be quite tight doing this method pull through the third stitch which is why I'm using a slightly smaller hook than the hook I used to create the work so down through the back loop down through the back loop grab your yarn pull through one pull through two and pull through three and then we're going to continue this all the way
continue working your slip stitch until you come to the middle stitch of your corner and this is how the slip stitch should look along this join from the front side and this is how it will look on the back side which as you can see is quite a neat tidy stitch if you're working multiple squares continue joining in this direction and then turn your work and work in the opposite direction to join the other squares so this is called the flat slip stitch So the next stitch I'm going to show you is similar to the slip stitch. This is called a zigzag stitch. So again, put your slip stitch onto your hook. Keep your working yarn above the work and underneath the work. Again, find your corner square. So one, two, three. Find the corner stitch. Go through the loops of one square, find the opposite loop, go through those loops, grab your yarn, pull through one, pull through two, pull through the third loop on the hook. And then we're going to work into the back loop of each stitch so we're going to go into the right loop first, yarn over and pull through two. And then in the opposite stitch into the back loop, yarn over, grab the loop and pull through. Into the right square back loop, grab the yarn. I've now turned my work as it's easier to hold the work at this angle and I'm going to continue doing this zigzag slip stitch along the edge of this square. So into the back loop of the top square slip stitch into the back loop of the front square grab the yarn and pull through two place the hook into the back loop of the back square grab the yarn pull through into the back loop of the front square, grab the yarn and pull through both loops. And I'm going to continue this all the way along the edge of the square until I get to the middle stitch of the corner square.
So this is how your zigzag slip stitch should look from the front side of your work. And if you turn over, this is how it should look on the rear side of your work. As you can see that this is quite an attractive stitch from both sides of your work for joining your squares. And if you've got multiple squares, continue to work in this direction and then turn your work and join the squares along this direction. So this next stitch is called the mess, mesh stitch. So we're going to start with the slip stitch on our hook. Going to find the corner stitch of our square. Put your hook through. And we're going to chain three. So let's go. One, two, three, and then into the corner square of the, the corner stitch of the opposite square, we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, grab the yarn. Pull through two, pull through two, and chain one. Into, we're going to go move to the bottom square. We're going to miss a stitch. So miss a stitch into this stitch, and under both loops, we're going to double crochet. Under both loops, grab the yarn, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two, chain one, move on to the top square. So again, you're going to miss the first stitch into the second stitch and through both loops, yarn over, under both loops, grab the yarn, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. Move on to the bottom square, going to miss a stitch into this stitch, yarn over, under both loops, grab the yarn, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, chain one, move to the top square, miss a stitch into this stitch, Going to double crochet under both loops, grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two, chain one, grab the yarn, miss this stitch, double crochet into this stitch, chain one, into the top square, going to miss a stitch into this stitch, yarn over, double crochet, pull through, chain one. And we're going to continue this all along the edge of this square. Continue this chain stitch 
until you come to the middle stitch of your corner. If you were adding layers of squares at this point you would continue this method and join squares above these two working upwards. As you can see this makes quite an attractive stitch and it looks equivalently attractive on both the front and the back sides. And there you have the mesh stitch.